Um, so what's been happening there, Zara? Good afternoon, Colette. I suppose uh, from the outset, let me just say that what we're talking about this lunchtime here, at the centre of all of this, are children on both sides of this conflict. And first, we begin by talking about Emily Hand, who, as you mentioned, uh, is celebrating her ninth birthday today in what we understand is captivity inside Gaza, where we believe she is being held by Hamas. And uh, the Israeli community in Ireland wanting to mark Emily's birthday today and of once again calling for the release of Emily and all of the hostages. On Monday, Emily's father, Tom Hand, travelled uh, to Dublin. We sat down and spoke with him at that time he had been begging and pleading reiterating those calls to Hamas to release his little girl. Uh, Emily was captured by Hamas when Be'eri Kibbutz where the family lived uh, was stormed by Hamas militants on the 7th of October. Uh, initially Emily's father had been told that Emily had died but he later learned that in fact Emily's body was not discovered in the kibbutz once the clean up operation had gotten underway and in fact it is now believed that Emily as I say is still alive. Now separately Colette as you mentioned there uh, a number of Irish um, Palestinian citizens are making their way out of Gaza through that Rafa border and in some good news today uh, for one family for Khaled, uh, his two children Ali and Sarah, they have now made it through the border crossing. I think we can take a look at a picture that he sent us just in the last hour, Colette uh, this is obviously a bittersweet moment for this family. These children have lost their mother in all of this, uh, their mother dying a number of weeks back and uh, Khaled has been speaking today of the relief he felt upon hearing the news that the children have made it safely across the border. Yeah, I, you know, I was like, I was very worried. I was very afraid today because, you know, I, I didn't have any connection with them, any contact, you know, the connection went down in Gaza and I can't even send anyone, no one have internet in Gaza. So uh, I didn't know anything until uh, the foreign affairs contacted me and said that the, they are always with someone from the embassy which is, oh my God, it's, it's, it's like a dream. Well, Claire Khaled is desperately waiting now for the children to return here to Ireland uh, to touch down here in the next couple of days. But one of the most difficult things that faces Khaled is to break the news to his children that their mother has died. Our news correspondent, Zara King, thank you for that.